Hey YouTube, welcome back to the show. On today's episode, I want to talk about Game Pass because if you don't know, it's just been revealed that Game Pass has earned Microsoft a massive 2.9 billion that's B with a capital B dollars in 2021, which is a phenomenal start for a service that's still in its infancy. And of course, it's a service that really hasn't yet hit its straps with all of the big IP coming from Microsoft IP that we know is really going to hit its stride in 2023. So there you go. Like That's a massive amount of money. 2.9 billion US dollars. That works out to something like nearly 6 billion Australian dollars. So that's huge money. Uh, and it's around about roughly, I'm going to say, 15 to 20% of Microsoft's games and services revenue. So already it's starting to deliver some massive numbers. Now, this is revenue and it needs to be pointed out that it's revenue, it's not profit. Because obviously the cost of developing games and building up a service like Game Pass with things like advertising, getting other developers on board to put their games, there's a cost involved in that, right? So that's going to cost money and that needs to be funded somehow. Now $2.9 billion is a massive amount of money, but it would cost an absolute shit ton of money to get that service up and running. So if I'm being honest, when it comes to profit, particularly in the first couple of years when you're building a service this significant, I wouldn't actually expect a huge amount of profit. But looking at $2.9 billion plus what they already have in the service, I would suggest that it's profitable on some level, but reality is we will never know. Overall though, if you look at total Xbox revenues, which now exceeds $16.28 billion, you have to say one thing, Microsoft are building a pretty handy business when it comes to Xbox and gaming. You also have to say that if you take the rhetoric coming from some Sony fanboys, if they're building this business to $16.28 billion without games, because let's face it, they've been throwing that in uh, the face of Xbox fans for years, then just imagine what happens when Microsoft start delivering games on a consistent month-to-month, quarter-to-quarter, yearly basis. And they really start hitting their stride with some massive games, things like Starfield, things like Avowed, obviously the next Gears, the next Forza. When those things start to drop consistently, Game Pass and this whole service is just going to absolutely explode. So there you go guys, look, just a short one. I don't like to get wrapped up too much in uh, in the back of house, how much anyone is earning, what's the revenue, what's the share price. I don't really do that. But uh, I do want to talk about the viability of a service like Game Pass because it is such a huge value to gamers and I want it to be around for a long time. Now for me, it's saved me an absolute fortune. I'm playing games that I would not have traditionally gone out and purchased. And for me, that's the value of Game Pass. It takes away the risk of purchase, of buying a game you're not sure about, you know, of spending that 50, 60, 70, in the case of Australia, $100 on a game just to find out that you hate it. And I remember doing that when the Xbox and the original PlayStations launched, I would go and buy, you know, pay full retail price when these things launched for a game that, you know, I come home, I give it a go, I play it for four, five, six, seven, eight hours, and uh, I just hated it. Uh, in that case, all you can really do is go and exchange it for less than what you paid for it. But that whole process is an absolute waste of time anyway, right? And that's what Game Pass for me allows me to do. It's trial something new without the risk of shelling over more money, more money, more money. So there you go guys, look, that's today's video. If you've liked it, you know what to do, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always guys, get involved in the conversation via the comment section down below. And I'll see you all in the next video.